Before you know it, she talks. Before you know it, she walks. Before you know it, she knows you. Before you know it, she has a heart. Before you know you're pregnant, when your baby's no bigger than a grain of rice. Before she's a twinkle in your eye, that's when you need to take folic acid every day. After that, it's too late to prevent some serious birth defects. Folic acid now, before you know it. Well, how are you, Kingdom Warriors? Uh, this is Dr. Shirley Caniff. I am representing uh, from the previous challenge, Victorious Anomalies. And I just want to um, um, update everyone that there is a five-day challenge that's going to start tomorrow. And what um, Eric Skeldon, who's the founder of Kingdom Warriors, wants us to do is to tell as many people about it. So we are using our podcast that was birthed out of the previous challenge of possessing the promised land. Okay, and that's when I became a general and I encouraged everybody else to, to do the same too. So we have a couple of generals that came out of that challenge and, um, and we were um, involved in the movie and uh, on the movie set in Minnesota. We're going to talk about that. So that's what you're going to hear on this podcast uh, broadcast. Uh, and what basically we're going to we've we've decided to um, set our sights on is uh, how you know our shared unique experiences put, pointed us into the direction of actually receiving our inheritance, the inheritance of God's legacy. It's all about legacy when you say, yes, the Lord will show you what, what, it, what your legacy is. He will move heaven and earth to reveal it to you. So we talk, we, we're going to talk about that in this particular podcast and then um, expound more of what this challenge is all about. It's mainly, to be honest with you, it's mainly about understanding the NFT process, the language of NFT, and how to build your NFT, and also um, to uh, uh, give, you know, it, and Eric wants to, because there's a lot more people coming um, on to um, and into Kingdom Warriors uh, and coming to these challenges, to actually... Um, uh, make it easier for people to understand where this NFT education is on the Discord server. So, you know, the, 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 so there's a lot more to this challenge, but it's it's going to be over an extended period of time. Instead of three days, it's five days. That seems to work better. Five also is a number for grace as well. And it, and it also um, is stretched out to the end of the week. We were going to come into the Feast of um, the Trumpets. Um, and so uh, that's Rosh Hashanah. Uh, and, uh, and it's all good. It's all beautiful. Um, and it's just, a, it's, a, it's going to be a new beginning, right? It's, it's the beginning of a new year on the Jewish calendar. Uh, that is our timetable because we are, um, we are kingdom warriors representing the kingdom of God and the lion of the tribe of Judah, which is uh, Jesus is our Jewish Messiah. So, um, yeah, and we are, you know, there's a spiritual Israel and there's a physical Israel, and and uh, and we are all about um, uh, being friends and lovers and brothers and sisters of Yeshua Hamashiach. Amen. King of kings and Lord of lords. So without further ado, we're going to go into this broadcast. And blessings, blessings, blessings. Enjoy the show. All right. Okay. 
Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Victorious Anomalies podcast hosted by Dr. Shirley Caniff. I am Dr. Coilette James, and we have Salome. How do you say your last name? Kaylin? Client. Client. Okay. And we also have Salome Client with us. So we are super, super excited to talk to you guys tonight because, yeah, we got some some, um, intel that we can share a little bit little bit from Dr. Shirley and my trip to the movie set last week, which was a total blast. Mm -hmm. Um, And then we want to talk about the challenge that's coming up. So with that being said, Dr. Shirley, I turn this over to you. Well, you you were down there before I was, right? So the um, they started shooting for this, I think even before the 24th in another part of the country before August 24th, but in Minnesota, in Owatonna, Minnesota. Uh, Owatonna. Owatonna, uh, Owatonna. Between August 24th and September 7th. And I just got on um, Facebook on Hamid's site, and he th- today was a wrap. They've completed everything today. And he said it was kind of like a sad day mm-hmm. for him because, you know, it's, it's like it's their baby, you know, and mm-hmm. they have to say, all right, bye. And then they go into the world of um, post production. So I think that now that you have been in on the film side of it, Dr. Coilet, let's talk about what they're, what, what, what the next phase is in the, uh, what's that, five phases of? Four phases of five phases. five phases of production, you know, post production. I mean, so, no. Well, let us start with prayer. So that okay, we can open <laughs> <this up. laughs> always giving honor to God first and foremost. Lord God, we just give Amen. you all the praise, the glory, and the honor just because you are. Hallelujah. Thank you. Jean. Oh my God, we wouldn't be if you were not. <laughs> so That's right. We are so so very grateful to you. We just pray your blessings upon this time together, Thank and you. we. We just pray that it will not only edify you, but will also bring even more attention and insight to what Kingdom Warriors is all about, which is what our goal is tonight. So we give you praise, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for being able to sit and just have a conversation about what's going on. We give you the praise, the glory, and the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, 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 um, well, pre-production, obviously, you know, pulling everything together, pulling the sites together, um, getting all of your actors lined up and um, your wardrobe, your crews, everything that goes in that has to be set before you can go into the actual production. Mm-hmm. Um, also with the script writing and what have you, you know, there's a lot that goes into the pre and then you have the production. And uh, which we had an opportunity to just get a a little peek and a little glimpse into. um, And it was, you know what, it was amazing for me. I I think it was amazing. And and I said this while we were all together there um, in in Minnesota, because there were several of the Kingdom Warriors that actually came out. Um, A few had come and gone by the time I got there. And then Dr. Shirley, you got there a couple of days after I did and you were able to stay a couple of days longer. Yeah. But, you know, the, my biggest thing, and, I, and I, we, we fellowshiped together, we played together, we went putt-putt golfing, <laughs> which I was horrible at. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we did that together, you know, and we worked together. We worked on building sites and sets and um, stomping down weeds, <laughs> just all kind of crazy stuff, getting the field prepared. You were making the paths um, that I had to walk on. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Uh, but anyway, it was an incredible experience. The biggest thing for me was the fact of knowing that not only did we invest monetarily in this, we invested our time in it. We were a participant yes. in establishing the kingdom of God in the entertainment sphere. So when this series comes out, there will be such a sense of pride in it because we were there, you know? Uh, And I know all the Kingdom Warriors, listen, I'm not taking anything away from any of you that you purchased your NFTs, you you gave, you sold. There were some big investors that came in that like really sealed the deal and what have you. And that's phenomenal, like thank God for you. But I believe this whole thing was a God ordained situation. 
and just you know i i'm that one i, I like to have hands on I, I need to be in the midst that's just who i am i'm a worker bee i really am i'm a worker bee and i just i just like to know that hey i did a little more <laughs> I did a mm -hmm. little extra um, in, in whatever it is that pertains to the kingdom of God, that's my heart. That's my heart and soul is, um, is establishing his kingdom because there is nothing else. You know, when you think about our creation and the reason we're even here, we're here because the Lord had this appointed time for us to be in this timeline, you know, of, of eternity and to be participants in his move in the earth ramp at this appointed time. He could have dropped us in here at any given time. You yes. know, I'm so grateful that he did pick this time because there was a couple of other, um, <laughs> other times <laughs> time that I probably wouldn't have lasted in. And I'm gonna leave it at that. But but I, I I'm aware of those times in my <laughs> intergenerational um, uh, family line that you know, there are some stuff that they muddle through and because of what they muddled through, it opened up the way for, you know, me and my walk with the Lord. So we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later. You know, and for, yeah. I, I guess, well, for me, because Dr. Dr. Shirley, you have studied your lineage and you know, yes. you know, you know your background and Salame, I, I, I don't know your history, but I, I assume you know where you came from, you know, your lineage as well. For me, I didn't find out where I came from until two years ago. Okay. I was adopted, so I didn't know my biologicals. Well, that's hey, that I is the beginning. Out lineage yeah. until two you know, two years ago, I knew who I was in God. That's so, right. You know, I, I was cool with that, but to actually find out heritage and lineage, I just started finding that out a couple of years ago. So mm -hmm. it was it was an incredible thing. But here's the the bottom line is. It was for such a time as this that that we're all, each and every one of us are in this earth ramp. And in this yes. new flow and this new move of God, it is an incredible, honorable thing to be a part of. And that's what I love. When, when the Lord first talked to me about the metaverse, which was like literally a week before I joined Kingdom Warriors. Mm -hmm. And he told me, he said, I need you to get involved with the metaverse. And I'm like, Okay, Lord, like in my mind, all I remembered is the goggles and the kids playing <laughs> going into this la la land, right? And I'm going, okay, Lord. But what he said to me, he said, the metaverse is going to be the next new frontier for the kingdom. That's right. That's right. And so that's my whole focus is I, I'm kingdom minded. Lord, whatever we can do for your kingdom come as it is in heaven on earth, that's what it's all about. That is it. And, and, you know, if you think about the rudiments of the kingdom and the heavenly encounters, that should be everyday ordinary stuff for those who believe in Jesus, right? And are called according to his purpose and has our intimate relationship and walk through the area of dreams and visions. And even, you know, when you're worshiping the Lord and spirit and truth, you know, with a, with a, 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 a clean heart and clean hands. You, you you get that clear clarity from heaven and and it, it could rock your world. I mean, we don't order, we're not gonna it's not like we're going to McDonald's, oh I want this this fries or whatever. You know, give me this Lord from heaven, although we start out like that. But you know, you, you just want to posture yourself like Lord, just anything that you want from me for now, you mm -hmm. know, whatever it is that's gonna bring me closer to you. And then and then he'll show up. He'll show up in the strangest ways. And yes, he you know, he'll play with you, he'll play with your mind, he'll play with your language. You know, he gives each and every one of us. The, uh, he knows our language. He knows how to come in there in our everyday language and thoughts uh, and, and, and kind of have fun with us, you know, mm -hmm. and, and things like that. And so that's what I love about the Lord. And he's constantly evolving. He's constantly evolving. And that's what this you know, Dr. Shirley, movement. We're constantly evolving. Yeah. <laughs> Same guy and yesterday, you, today, and forevermore. You know what? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our knowledge. Of who he is. That's constantly growing. Okay. I said it backwards. I meant to flip it. Thank you. Went deeper into who he is, but he changes. That's right. That's right. He. We are the ones that change because we have to go from glory to glory. We're always in transition. So forgive me, for everyone. You know, as I'm thinking, this this is what the Lord's doing. He's putting all of us together, all of us victorious anomalies, and we're just there to you know have fun with each other and and even 
be open to positive correction. I, I was, I'm like, where am I going with this? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for bringing that clarity to everyone there. Um, and so, um, but, you know, anything that we do on this side of glory, because we're human beings, is always changing, always evolving. Like Kingdom Warriors, our connection to Kingdom Warriors, and that's growing. That's growing in leaps and bounds. It's growing and flowing, right? Growing and flowing, and it's a movement. And what I loved about this week and is that I, when I first got on to um, Kingdom Warriors and got a chance to know the people, and I'm like, what, am I ever going to meet them one day? And then Minnesota happens. Um, Felicia comes. And I was already, you know, um, you know, looking you know and, and communicating with her on facebook about the the new hair the the, the green the blue dye, the green dye and between her and eric they have this thing about dying hair it's prophetic so you know i i and i just loved her 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 car her the person that god is making her to be the spontaneous the spontaneity of the holy spirit that's operating through her and so i'm like lord just let me meet her one time so uh, of course i wasn't able to make the mastermind like you did but i made minnesota at the last minute it was the price was right for me you know i mm -hmm. uh, we, we were able to drive down there but when i got down there and the church was happening i got a, a, call, um, a message from dr coyle we're going to be going to church you know and uh we all meeting downstairs in the breakfast lounge at 8 15. there were some things i had to do so i sent the guys down there i'm like yeah, hold the boat, let them know where we're going, get the address, and, and things like that. And uh, lo and behold, Felicia's right there. Dr. Coilet was there. They saved us a seat. And it was just a beautiful uh, thing, a beautiful situation. And um, and I got a chance to hug both of them. And the, the, the Holy Spirit hugs are so healing. And mm -hmm. it was the experience I had with Felicia. And I just... Just had to, you know, before the pictures, just had to hug her. And then I felt the whole, the flow, like rice coming from my hands, invisible, like the power of the Lord. And uh, she, she was being changed. There was some kind of prayer that was going on for healing uh, with the pastor's wife. And um, and she was she was communing with the Lord, Eric's wife, about something. And, but I just came over and said, you know, healing's happening now. You don't have to wait for anybody to lay hands on you in the church. I said, it is going on now. God has not forgotten you. And uh, and then some beautiful things about Father's love is going on with her. And she talked about the blue teddy bear that was her comfort when she was, I'm doing this because teddy bear is this big. <laughs> and uh, it was this beautiful. And you just don't know the impact that you have on, on people and that they have on you until you meet in the same space. Mm -hmm. But I also loved Salome's prayers and the prayers of Victoria's anomalies while we were on the road, while Dr. Corlett was in the air and, and, and while we were there, it was just so confident to um, know that uh, our family, Victoria's anomalies, part of the Kingdom Warrior family was praying for us. Amen. Amen. Salome, you want to say something? Now, I'd just like to touch a little bit on what uh, Dr. Coilet uh, was sharing earlier. And you have also shared your lineage um, in the group. And that was <clears throat> one thing as well that I had been, it's been on my heart, like, how can I bring my, my people to the Lord? Mm -hmm. So since I moved to Australia, I'm more, uh, I'm, I'm from Papua New Guinea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, originally. So like I come from a cultural background as well. So I come from a, I should say a very rich family where both of my grandfathers are chiefs. And they do a lot of storytelling, oh, narrative awesome. telling. I didn't know yeah, that. Like they, 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 because we have, we have, in our society, we have clans. It's the same as tribes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So both my grandfathers, my mother's father and my father's father were grand chiefs mm -hmm. of, the, of the clans. Okay. My father was uh, um, as well. So it's my daughter. Okay. Wait. Yes, and... 
So what were you saying? Your father was... Um... Oh, it was uh, just a mom. Okay, no problem. It's a young lady. Oh. I, I, I just have to sort her out and she can go. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Um, my father's a chief. Okay. And, and then one of my elder brothers is, is now a chief of my clan. Okay. So we don't, you cannot marry into your same clan. You have to marry into a different clan. Ah, that's interesting. And then matri matrilineal society where all the children, whereas in some societies, the children, it's a patrilineal, the children go to the father's side of the clan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. So through through that upbringing, I should say like I'm I'm so blessed in being part of that family because the blessings mm -hmm. have passed on. Mm. So, but but now the the cultural practices some of it are so earthly that people have turned away from God. So that was my biggest concern. Like what mm -hmm. what should I do? I want my people to know you. Yes. So I started this journey of intercession. Oh, good. Beautiful. Because I am not working and I'm caring for my daughter. Mm -hmm. um, that was the, it was like the job God gave me. Mm -hmm. So I, I joined a, 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 one of the ministries where they, they teach about, you know, presenting your cases in the courts of heaven. That's oh, good. So yes. I, I love that so teaching. I, I've been I've been work, working walking along and, and you know getting the teachings from them mm -hmm. because coming from a religious background, I'm I'm grateful that religion religion came to to my people because they were cannibals. Mm -hmm. mm. So when when they came, like you know, the missionaries missionaries came, and the Catholic Church was planted on the island. I'm grateful that you know that happened mm -hmm. but now going deeper into you know having a personal relationship with god i'm going into his word and the truth you know so I, it's also a process and journey on how to, how how do i communicate this to my people mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. so i was, I was you know, going you, on the, again being in the right place at the right time you are here to get reinforcement because what we've witnessed in your life yes. and how God has brought you out of that introverted place so mm -hmm. that now you'll be even more um, ready and, and um, trained to speak to them because mm -hmm. you won't have that fear or that intimidation about speaking out because you've come such a long way and it's such a short period of time yes and it has been just an incredible metamorphosis to to watch it, mm -hmm. I, literally it's like the caterpillar is now the butterfly and you are just like you are there and that's incredible but it's it everything works together to for our good and so God has used your time here in Kingdom Warriors to build you up, to build your faith muscle as you pray for your family, but also to strengthen your voice. So let you know you have a voice and you don't have to be shy about speaking out so yes. that as God gives you the utterance, you are able to profess it. Yeah. You're able to profess it. So that's an amazing thing. That's an amazing thing. And, and even though you're in Australia and they may be in Papua New Guinea, you still, your prayers are being answered there. Yes. Your, your prayers, that frequency, that frequency is traveling and God is doing what needs to be done in their lives. So that's incredible. Amen. And thank you. I thank you so much. I received that. You just mentioned something that I was referring myself to in the beginning as I was coming out. Like I am the beautiful butterfly that's just coming, that's um, come out of a caterpillar stage mm -hmm. and my wings are being strengthened, getting ready to fly. Yes. That was how I felt, how I saw myself mm -hmm. after like from from the challenge last month and coming yeah. out now yeah. and then and, and you know being in that challenge and then doing the 31 day going life challenge that was the biggest giant 
the fear and I slayed and sharing with other family, um, Kingdom Warriors families and how one of our other sister coming from a cultural background, Jackie from New Zealand, oh, yeah. she shared yeah, about, about oh, I'm getting goosebumps. That was one part I was struggling, like, how can I, because when she said about culture, like God gave us our cultures, mm -hmm. we, can, we can, you know, um, pray to break the generational curses, mm -hmm. but redeem the blessings, because that was part of like, oh, there are so many blessings from my lineage, I have to redeem them for, mm -hmm. for me, for my children, and, you know that's their legacy we carry yeah. on and yeah, and because yeah. being in in the in the positions where they are chiefs they literally take care of the old communities and it's like my father I've, my father has taken care of more people than 20 men combined in my village like you know that's how i see we, there are, there are 10 10 children i am the seventh born Wow. Wow. And, I, and I, I, I was born on the seventh month. Yeah. And I am I'm in the seventies and I am his favorite. So I, 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 now I can, I am sensing like his blessings so upon me and I have to, to, you know, save my family, save my extended family mm -hmm. to, to, to the heavenly father. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. You know, and we are all, you know, I would, I want to just get back to what um, Dr. Coilette was saying about being adopted. That's not a big thing. You, God gave you first dibs on what it's like to be his adopted heir. Oh my God. I, I, I embrace yeah. that in ways that people can't even imagine. Mm -hmm. You know, when they yeah. say that you have been adopted into the family of God, yeah. I understand that on a whole nother level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A whole nother level. Even yeah. on the legalistic side, okay? Yeah. When a person adopts a child, mm -hmm. that person cannot um, de, de own them. They like, you know, it's like, they can't write you out of the wheel, <laughs> you know, yes, they can't oh, let, you know, no, you know, I don't want no part of you. No, no once you yeah. adopt a child, that child is yours and yeah. there's nothing, yeah. nothing you can do about it. People can't fight you for your inheritance, nothing because mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. yours. It's and, yours. Yeah. And, and then, so you know, says you're adopted into his family. Everything yeah. that is yours. Yeah. It so is. what happens when you you get adopted, you go to people that really want you, that really feel compelled by the Holy Spirit moving in them, that that you are they're your you're their child and they're your parents that God mm -hmm. gave. They have that greater mm -hmm. understanding. Mm -hmm. You know, and Joseph's Joseph was Jesus's foster father, you know, and the Holy Spirit came upon Mary and it's <laughs> You know, and, and it was like, but Joseph embraced him because the Holy Spirit said, this is not a man. This People is a God. <laughs> what, what did you say? Well, well, how are you going to treat the child of God? Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> Who's like, God? Hey, you, know, hey, you know, you probably got better treatment than the rest of them. Jesus, <laughs> girls and all of them, they probably didn't get you. Jesus would just brother the sisters off, you know. <laughs> but you, but you might be, I would I would have liked to have been in that family at the time when Jesus is there and all these things are happening and everybody's like, What's what's up with this with this kid? <laughs> you know? Well if you remember though, yeah. his sibling and his mother at the end, like, you know, he was just like um my my mother, my yeah. sisters, and my brothers are yeah. those who follow my father. That's right. That's right. You no, know? and yes. so they didn't they didn't give preferential treatment. Now, obviously, yeah. he always honored Mary. That was very yes. very clear. Yeah, all because you, know, you have to when, It's like when she told him to do something, even though he's talking about it is my time has not yet come. She looked at him and turned to the side and said, "Do everything he tell you to do." Because it was just like he gonna yeah. do what I didn't ask him to do. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That motherly thing, like yeah, okay. yeah. Because <laughs> uh, the woman was talking to her. You made to do yeah. this. 
<laughs> yeah, the Lord was already talking to her. He's like, hey, all right, this is, he's like, tell my son Jesus to turn that water into wine. <laughs> But, yes. Um, <laughs> now, it's amazing. I um, my fifth great grandbaby was born um, two days. Yes, ago. great grand, great grandbaby, great, right? Fifth great grandbaby. Congratulations! Baby. Thank you. Yes. And I yes. I was doing my live Friday morning, and I really kind of got a little overwhelmed with emotions mm -hmm. um, because as I thought about it, as you know, being this adoptive person, I, I, I was blessed by God. Thank you, Lord, that I never took my adoption in the form of rejection because mm -hmm. I, I have some friends that were adopted and they felt rejected mm -hmm. because they were adopted, that their biological didn't want them. I didn't, I never went through that. You oh, know, yes. um, I was grateful that my mother gave me life because you, we all yes. know things could have been different. Okay. Been different. So yep. thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I always wanted to find out who she was because that was my heart. Just all I wanted to do was say, thank you. You did good. Thank wow. you. You know, um, but and unfortunately, I didn't get to do that because by the time I found out who she was, she was deceased. Both my uh, biologicals were deceased when I found out. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, you can so, pray um, my thing was when I was yeah. pregnant with my son, I remember my mindset was this is my lineage. This will be my blood. This will be where my life and my bloodline begins oh. because I didn't know anybody else. Yes. And yes. so carrying my son, even though I wasn't but 14 years old, carrying my son was just like this honorable thing for me as far as I was concerned, because this was part of me. Yes. And I only had the two children. I had a son and had my daughter a year and a half after him. And, you know, but to think that God took this little orphan child mm -hmm. and through me, through yeah. me, there are now 15 other people. Mm -hmm. I have yeah. two children. They each have four. I said, we are the family of multiple. Wow. Children. So you, you so they, they have each have four. Wow. My son yeah. has three daughters and a son. My daughter has three sons and a daughter. So we kept it even. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we kept it even. And then as the great grand started coming. So now I had the two of them, eight grandchildren, and now five great grandchildren. 15 wow. people. 15 people are here yes. because God blessed me. And because your mother gave birth gave to Gave birth to me. Gave yes. birth to me. She, yes. against all odds, family turned their back, put her out. It was the wow. 50s. It was a shame, you know, and the scarlet letter, you know. Yes. You know, shameful. Uh -huh. The biological father didn't want nothing to do with her or me, of course, at that point. And, you know, and she chose she chose to put herself in a home for unwed mothers and to give life to me. Wow. So I couldn't be mad at that. All I could do is no, be no. thankful for that. Amen. You know? But yeah. I'm like, God, you took this, that, that one seed, you took me and you've produced 15. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that to me, that was amazing. Amen. That was amazing. But it's think great. of what God does in our lives. Yes. You know, he takes and he imparts a seed within us. Yes. And if we allow him to birth that seed out of us, yes, like the multiplication begins, mm -hmm. the multiplication yeah. begins. And that's what I'm seeing with kingdom warriors. That's what I see with Eric. I said yes. this on multiple times. Eric's yes has transitioned all of our lives. That's right. Yeah. Yes. His yes. yes. Because he said yes when God said, I have something for you to do. Yes. yes. And his yes has now propelled us into places that we weren't even thinking about. Exactly. And it's actually increased our faith to in, in, in our obedience to do what the Lord wants us to do. He said, go over there. We're going over there. Um, don't say anything until I tell you to say it. And that, that's what it was like when I went down to went up, I was like, went to, up north <laughs> to Minnesota. And I was, uh, we, you know, I, we had a driver who was a friend of ours and he he said surely let's pray on our way down and uh and then while we were there um they you know they they because we're from the catholic persuasion there is mass during a week day as well as sunday and so they were there and i was praying in the room uh because the lord told me to stay behind and i did not know why uh, and it, it was like he gave me tongues but he, i was also travailing for 
Legends of Evadria. And it was, it was, it was tough. And it's only a couple of times in my life that he's done that before a major breakthrough. For a whole 45 minutes while they were at mass, and then this peace came in. But mm. I got a sense that, you know, that to pray for it, the, the people that are going to watch it, the people that are in this and on the set, uh, and what was going to come after. But it was, it was, it was so fast, and it was to the point that you know how you groan and intercede. You can't even talk. You can't even say the words. All I can do is stretch out my arms. I laid on the bed and just I, I I said Jesus. I nailed this all to the cross. And then I got the sense that there was so much anguish in the world hmm. that I began to intercede in an area that I had never interceded before because we we're always praying for this individual salvation that group, that family. It was like, Lord, the world needs you, the world system. I said, there are people trapped. I saw it as a jail cell for maybe Christians that lost their way or people that have yet to come into the kingdom. And, uh, you know, and I was like, Lord, they, this, they could, you can only grab them out of the world by your power and your right hand. Please, would you go to your people? Would you go to the people? Would you, you know, unloose them from the power of the world and and put an end to the world system? So I was, that's how I was praying. I had no idea about that. And then, then I got the peace. Mm -hmm. And when they came back, it was as if nothing happened. Oh, how you doing? Oh, great. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's bad. You know, and, and, and that is, that is, but that's, this is the, um, the power that, this, uh, this is how powerful Legends of Religion is, is going to be. Mm -hmm. You know, I only got to the, at the end. <coughs> when I came in, I was an extra on the set, um, you know, where I guess maybe in, in the uh, obsidian shape part. <laughs> and all I could do is, you know, as a peasant, uh, is intercede for, the, the other characters that are playing the other parts. And I'm not going to give it away. Um, I'm just going to say, you're going to see spiritual warfare at its best. And then you're going to see the hand of God move. And that's the movie. That That yeah. is the crux of the movie. Yeah. You know, um, that that's the crux of the movie. That's, yeah. that's the, the tone of it. That's what it's set to be. Yeah. Um, and the fact that it can be presented to people in a way that wouldn't go to church. That's right. That they will be able to see and, mm -hmm. and recognize and understand. So that, and isn't that it about this orphan? Journey. Isn't it about this orphan's journey to find out? But in the lineage? orphan's journey, it's the 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 good versus the bad. The ever light <laughs> is fighting the upset and So yeah. you know, in the journey, it's that 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 warfare, it's the war yes. between good yeah. and evil and, yeah. and the transformation. Mm -hmm. um, that can happen when you allow it. Amen. Amen. So we got about 20 minutes, but we're going to go into the challenge. We're going to close with talking about what's going on with the challenge. But I, should I share about what I shared with everybody in Victoria's Anomalies about my, no, no, no all right, about my background? Okay. All right. Let's just say, I'm just going to want in two lines. Um, I have a brother-in-law who was ad adopted. And he was part Swedish, and you know, had you know, also there was an, there was an African American. We don't know how much was Indian or a Native American. He never got a chance to know his parents, but he did find out that his mom lived in Sweden, and he, you know, or Switzerland, Switzerland, and he um, had you know, he really developed a, a desire to go into the genealogy, understand where he was from. And in the middle of that, he, 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 he did our genealogy as well. And uh, my mother already gave me a tidbit that we had a, somebody um, in our background who was a meth, who was a preacher and was famous in an encyclopedia. That's how it, his name began with free. That was it. <laughs> and uh, maybe we'll use the, another broadcast to talk about it because there's some things in the making. But um, what I, the point that I was trying to make is that um, in this um, discovery, he, um, you, you find out where you're from and why 
he, you know, you, you were given birth and he had a really good life and background. It's because of his diligence, we were able to find out this vast wealth of legacy. And then I, be, I began to see in my, and I had a dream about my ancestor. God allowed that to happen before I found out all about this. And then I read his journey, his journal. Because the Holy Spirit told him to write a journal for the seventh generation. So you said something about seven. So I'm the seventh generation blessing. And that's going to be brought into a movie. But we're going to talk about that later on. Be, not today, but the Lord has something for Dr. Corylette, you know, to do with a movie and a book. And the Lord's, and, and this is what Eric is is burden this is what he wants all of us to encounter what is that narrative in us it doesn't have to be a movie it could be a, a song it could be a you know a book it could turn you know and, and just be open to what the lord wants you to do with your story mm -hmm. and the fact salome that you came from a people of storytelling that is so prevalent in the african and many of the african communities Anybody have to say anything to say about that? So, you know, so we're here because of the Lord, and we all have stories to tell. Mm -hmm. and, um, and and it's just wonderful, you know, what this challenge is going to do. So this next challenge, um, Dr. Coy, that do you want to mention anything about? Because you so, said, yeah. uh, you know what? I don't know the theme of the next challenge. Um, okay. I know it starts Monday. <laughs> yeah. And I was thinking about that because each challenge has a theme. Theme. Let me see um, if I can find the theme okay. for it. Um, I know he's going to be, be talking told, about the NFTs. Oh, yeah. it just, okay. It says it's all it's, it's like training. I don't know the theme mm -hmm. because it just says mm -hmm. Five Day Kingdom Warriors NFT Challenge. That's mm -hmm. it. Um, mm -hmm. What I do know, this is what mm -hmm. I do know because of the people that he has um, aligned for his guests. Like Dr. Brian and Simmons. You know, like Dr. Brian Simmons and Joseph Peck and Sean Holtz. And, yeah. 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 Uh, and Andrew Whalen. These are all, even Michael Morgan, these are all highly prophetic people. Yes. yes. That much I know. And yeah. I know Eric mentioned yesterday that he had talked to Sean Bowles that morning and Sean was going to try to make it into the VIP section of one of, of the days um, to, to be a part of it as well. And we know Sean is very prophetic too. Yes. Here's what I know for sure, that with the assembly of the guest speakers, that God is going to move and speak in a very <laughs> profound way. Yes. Amen. This is one of the things, one of the things that Eric had said in the mastermind that he was bringing businesses up to align themselves with the prophetic. Yes. And that spoke volumes. Yes. That spoke volumes because you don't hear people talk about that. You don't hear no. people deal with that. Mm -hmm. And and it, it, it literally the VIP session on the last challenge was so powerful and people were getting words of knowledge. Healings mm -hmm. took place. It yes. was just an incredible thing. So mm -hmm. it's like the, our challenges are not like other people's challenges. That's right. That's right. And That's it's right. so funny and it's interesting to watch because we've got an influx of new warriors. Yes. Yes. And um, and I know a lot of them came because you know, like Dr. Joseph Peck said, "Hey, we're gonna get involved in this." Benji said, "Hey, let's get involved in this from raising royalty," you know. And so people came along, and they were thinking they were coming in to learn about NFTs and and you know and Web three and all of that. But really, it's a center for God to work some very very interesting things in their lives there is such a strong you talked about this dr shirley there's such a strong creative anointing in kingdom yes. warriors yes there's a strong strong creative anointing in kingdom warriors and it crosses all the arts it crosses if you're an artist if you are a, a minstrel if you you know are a musician if you are a graphic artist, um, yes. if you just, you know, if you are a storyteller, if you are a writer, I'm a writer, I'm an author, you know, and now mm -hmm. I'm writing my first script, you know, I've written mm -hmm. four books, never wrote a script before. So now that creativity has come upon and, and it's a whole different thing. Something I always wanted to do though, 
always wanted to do. This is the, the beauty of God. He gives us yes. the, the, our place of childlike imagination where we can yes. visit things, where we can have vis visions of things. And we can just think, oh, you know, that would be really cool if I could do that. That would be really cool. Yes. And then at the appointed time, he will show you, this was not a vain imagination. This was me showing you the possibilities for your life. And now it's time for you to step into that possibility. Amen. You know, Amen. It's incredible. Yeah. I, I'm so looking forward to it. You know, and yeah. then the camaraderie, the people you meet in the challenges. Like I met up with Dana um, in, in Minnesota, and Dana and I were in the group together of the very first challenge that I ever did within Kingdom Warrior. And so, you know, like you said, Dr. Shirley, it's a wonderful thing when you can come face to face with people that, you know, you've been blessed with. That group is still up and going. That was Warrior Warrior yes. Reign. We still converse in that chat room, just like here with wow. Victoria's Anomaly. Anomaly. Yes. We still yes. converse in that chat. Yes. Whoever team you wind up on in the next challenge, you will still wind up conversing. It's like God takes each one of these little cells and he builds from those little cells. We have another group that have come together because of all the warrior women. We have battle babes and we, you know, we're, yeah. we're just that. We're battle babes. And it's just, it's just amazing what God is doing in the midst of kingdom warriors. You got all of these little cell it's almost like cell churches like house churches you know what i'm saying that's right like yeah these little cells and these little cells begin to grow and it's, it's just an exciting I, yeah. i'm looking forward to the new challenge yeah. so i see what i see um with the victorious anomalies is that he's given us something that maybe other people have we're you know it wasn't the on the and the anointing of the other ones to have a podcast but we're but i believe that he's using the other groups of people for the projects that they have they're very unique projects that they have to come on and talk about it because every time i run it by eric he's like yeah get people from the other groups so we're like more like the the seashore and you know the, and the waves are going out you know into the deep and into the deep of the other you know groups and and it's it's bringing bringing up the treasures that are in the deep up onto the shoreline and, and people can talk about it. And so I, I just got that. I got that sense that we should still go on with this. But like you said, um, when we're, you know, if, if we're called to the Lord to go into those groups and and, and, and do more lives or, or or just be there and say, hi, hey, I'm there for you. Um, and if you want to do another challenge, you know, to increase your NFTs, this is this is the way to do it. This is the way to to do it and you're not just doing it to win something you're doing it because there's growth in um in numbers and collaboration and unity mm -hmm. and i think that one of the things uh, that i was blessed with when i was there in minnesota was when dr coilette took me to the set um uh, and uh, at night at one of their um at one of their uh recordings uh, in their when they were doing the different scenes and they would seem like they were doing the same scene but they were bring getting a different result and it was really nice to see and what that did for me was um alex said he wasn't sorry he couldn't make it we'll talk we'll, we'll pray for him um was, but what that did for me was that um oh jeff honey that ripping honey okay what that did for me was um it resurrected that producer director editor you know from when i did the my other shows my series of shows for years and then the lord had put me putting everything down um 2013 and, and would i would go on occasionally but he had i was in acupuncture school and integrative medical school but at the time it was time to put it down like eric said he had to put his thing down for 10 years you know but he had that love to want to film but something activated under that open heaven there to this is the lord said now this is the time and i began to see things as a producer with one of the last scenes that they said this is a take all of a sudden i'm watching that make that the character and the, uh, the male character in that in the role he's playing and the way that he had gotten into this the his his scene I heard the Lord say, that's it. And I was like, I just pointed like, 
And then everybody's like, it's a tank. I'm like, oh, this is like, it's like resurrected in my, in my spirit about that producer thing going on, the producer director. So uh, I'm just really I'm excited as to the stirring, what, how the Holy Spirit's stirring it up and welling it up in all of us, you know, so mm. as, as we transition. So true. And then I look, I look at Salome and and how the challenge to birth her forth, you know. And so that's that's what we have to look forward to. Yeah. Just more stories like yours, Salome. Yes. Like your testimonies of just of that butterfly, that butterfly yeah. emerging. Yeah. Yeah. yeah awesome. Yeah, like that. Um, when I I took that step to do the thirty-one day life challenge. I had to just put myself out there. And as the days go on, you know, I, I felt more comfortable. And now it's like, yes, I can do it. And, and, and as I shared earlier, like that 21 day going live is actually a stepping stone for something big that God has for me to where, I'm, where my journey is going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm, 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 I'm doing some things in the background where I am a lot of learning as well. Awesome. So, awesome. Yeah. It's, awesome. it's going well, to that, be. You know what? That's what it's all about. So we're yeah. just hopeful that for those of you that are watching or listening um, to the podcast, and we're going to post this also in the, the challenge group that, you know, join in the challenge. The challenges are fun. They and that are, begins for us. Okay, they work. Work. <laughs> but they're yeah. fun. Yeah. They're fun. And the camaraderie that you, you, you have with your teammates um, mm -hmm. is amazing. And like I said, I'm, I'm telling you next week is going to be something else, y'all. Yeah, and that's yes. the month of new beginnings. Yeah, so or, that's no, we, we, we came out of the month of new beginnings. This is yeah. part of your new beginning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This and, is the month of the new year. How about that? Russia. Yeah, the trumpets, trumpets are coming up. Uh, the, that's uh, right. The yeah, trumpets yeah, are coming yeah. out. This is the month of the new year. They're on yes. the two calendars, the new year. And yeah. so, you know, we're going to go into that new year with trumpets blaring, so far sounding. It's going to be phenomenal. Amen. And that starts on Monday, September 12th. And it goes all the way to Friday yeah. um, the, at, the, at the Sabbath, you know, on Friday. And um, we're grateful. We're grateful. Yeah. And I just right. want to say, like, um, I, 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 I did my introduction and I encourage new, new people, like, you know, just come and just be, be present and let the process take place whatever you can take you take if it's too much just take a little bit at a time and mm -hmm. you know and 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 as you shared earlier on like um each challenge builds up onto another one mm -hmm. and yeah. and i sense that like in the previous challenge that was my first challenge where you know the theme was possessing the promised land yes and, and what yeah. came to me is like we have possessed the promised land Yes. And with this current um, lineup of, of guests, the prophetic guests, I sense that, you know, this is, is the, the, the formation of, of the godly government now on earth, that we will, it will, this, this is the, the birth of it now that will go forward, will go in line like with the movie and everything else. We are literally going to start the government of God on earth for his I people. Love it. I love it. Amen. I love it. And, and as you were saying that, I Lord brought back to, to me a dream that I had last night. I was seeing all kinds of different eagles, different species of eagles come in and fly in and they're like doing their thing. You know, eagles is prophetic. It's the prophetic coming, coming into, a, they were coming into alignment, but they were Doing their, you know, one eagle had their own little thing that they was doing. Another eagle, and they, and you could just, and it was beautiful. It was a beautiful thing. So we're gonna. This is the time where the eagles are gonna come together and the shout, and the trumpet shout, and uh, and you know, rip over the heavens, and we're gonna be seeing some dreams and visions and experience some godly encounters, and and God is good. And I, I and I, I just want to ask the Lord to bless Hamid, uh, Hamid. Um, his wife Camille and their children. The children are so beautiful. 
Uh, they all participated in, in this movie. They got such an anointing to, to, for entertainment, arts and entertainment. And um, Dr. Mark Smith was able to talk to him more. So all three of them agreeing to come on, on this show in probably another seven more days. They're, gonna, they're in post-production. And they're going to talk about what they've done and, and what they're going to do. And even that experience, you know, their experience of putting together, uh, producing Legends of Eurasia. And so it's going to be wonderful. It's going to be awesome. Amen. Yeah. Well, Amen. it's time for us to wrap up. Yeah. So this has de definitely been another exciting podcast and show and thank you, Dr. Shirley for rallying the troops <laughs> together. And it's the three of us. Amen. But we get we, we get all the glory to God and we're going to ask for the Lord to bless yes. the, uh, the, uh, the other victorious anomalies that are in the middle of their transitions and they were, they were wanting to be here, but you know, they have, you know, they have, Jesus is still in their home and they got to get work walk over the Christ to, to get out to the, Absolutely. you know, Absolutely. yeah, oh, man. All right. Well, Dr. Shirley, you want to pray us out? Cause we really have to go. It's, uh, oh yes. Okay. okay. So we just thank you, Jesus. We thank you Lord for this time. We thank you Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit for what you are about ready to do, what you have done. And we just thank you, Jesus, for to God be the glory for all the good things that you are, you have done and what you are doing. And we thank you, Lord, that, no weapon fashion or formed against us or anybody who's been part of that set in the mighty name of Jesus will prosper. We ask, Lord, that you would just bless all those who are, are destined to come on to these challenges. Open up the heavens for them. Open up and continually open up the heavens for us. And Lord, give us that that new zeal every day, every time you ask us to do something, we say yes. So, you know, and allow the, the, this fountain not to be dried up, but Lord, just, just bubble up, just well up this fountain within us and release it. Release the river of your love and your Holy Spirit to do what um, we are called to do and, and, to, and to bring life to, to everything that we put our hands on. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you Hallelujah. Lord. I and know, God, I continually know. touch Salome and her family and yeah. all of our families here and the, the new generation that's, that has been born to, to Dr. Coilette for such a time as this. Amen. I, we have yeah. another, we have a baby in the oven of my, um, in my daughter-in-law. So, so it's, it's, everything's, it's, it's beautiful how life yeah. is, is yeah. happening. And we ask for the repose of the soul for the queen. The queen, queen, queen Elizabeth, that mm. who had passed on, but now she passed on her legacy to the rest of the family, and there's going to be some great things happening. She was a Christian, and uh, and uh, she just uh, God gave her a reign of seventy years, and she set the tone for incredible, women. incredible, beautiful. Yeah. All right, ladies, gotta go. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Love you guys. Amen. All right, God Amen. bless you, everybody. Bye. Love you all. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Autism is a neurodevelopmental disorder that occurs in one out of 54 children. As the prevalence of autism increases, it is even more important to know the red flags so that early identification can occur. Hi, I'm Dr. Shirley Cannon. Thank you for listening.